the idea of explainability is very tricky in AI. There's almost a inverse relationship between the 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 success of a system and its explainability, at least with these deep neural networks. The deeper and that is like the more layers, the more neurons, the more connections in these networks, the better they tend to do because they're able to model the data more successfully. But then it's hard to figure out what they did. You know, you have millions of of weights or billions even now and no high-level insight into why the machine's making the decisions it does. So that's a big problem, and a lot of people are working on ways to make the machines more explainable or uh, kind of uh, almost virtual microscopes that can have you go in and, or, or you might, you know, if you want to make an analogy with neuroscience, little probes that can go in and <laughs> figure out what the what this artificial brain is doing. But it's it's certainly an unsolved problem. And, and, and I think there's also a problem like, what is an explanation? What counts as an explanation? This is a philosophical problem, yeah. you know, but, but it's also very real. So, for instance, um, the European Union has this GDPR uh, law on data, and one of the one of the parts of the law is that that algorithms that make decisions that affect people's lives have to be able to explain their decision making. But what does that mean exactly? Does it mean like I have to tell you all the values of the weights? Is that an explanation? Well, no, of course not. No human understands that. But explanation is kind of subject, subjective. It depends like what the goal is and what who I'm explaining it to, and so on. So the, that's, I think, a very unsolved issue. Well, it's interesting. I never thought about it, but of course, human beings can't explain why they do what they do. They lie. We lie. We fool ourselves. We self-deceive, right? The idea of saying, oh, I know why I gave you this gift, paid this compliment, shunned you, um, you know, there's a thousand reasons. And um, I don't know if we'll ever understand that about ourselves, uh, but we could understand something about, like you say, the data, the weights of the mechanical system. You know, I, cares? I, I, <laughs> a lot of people have said, well, humans can't explain their thinking either, so why should we make AI th- explain its thinking? But I think that's actually a false argument because humans can explain their thinking. They're, they're, we definitely d- aren't perfect at it, but we certainly have, you know, when a judge makes a ruling, they don't just say yes or no, but they write a, a long explanation for their ruling. They talk about how they took into account all the, diff- the evidence and all of that. Um, and when something really matters, like if I say I'm going to sentence you to 20 years in prison because this algorithm said I should, yeah. <laughs> I think there, there must be a way to, or there has to be required to be a way to explain what evidence it's taking into account. 